Welcome back, or welcome, whichever it may be if you've never come to my channel before. Today uh, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to prepare for some sort of an egg kind of resin project. Um, I get some pretty cool wood now and then um, from where I work. Um, I get some decent stuff. Some of it's not decent, it's just crazy. But um, I got this stuff, it's from Indonesia, and I'll show you quick. It's, uh, I have no idea what kind of wood this is. Um, it was uh, nailed to the bottom of a crate as sort of a foot. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of uh, carve it with, uh, with my Dremel tool and kind of put some sort of a landscape in it. Um, it's, it's got such beautiful color, I, I don't see any point in painting any colors or sparkles on it so what i'm going to do is just carve sort of a landscape into it with my dremel here and uh, i'm gonna put one on the top and then do something crazy for the bottom and uh pour some of this clear super clear super epoxy resin systems in it and um yeah we'll make like uh some sort of a small egg because uh it's not very big. They're just like little three by three uh, feet that I get. But anyways, that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'll keep you posted. Thanks. All right. Game plan is to make some sort of like a landscape here on this beautiful, beautiful piece of crazy colored wood. Um, so I'm going to use the grinder so we can move a lot of material quickly and uh, then I'll use the Dremel with the smaller bits to uh, fine-tune it so here we go So if I can find some sort of a sanding bit, sort of smooth out and get some of that uh, burn out of there. And uh, so we can get our color back. And I think that we've got a pretty good landscape, as I say. When you... Got some good landscape there. I like it. A lot of really deep grooves. Very kind of burlish, which is kind of what I'm trying to do here. Make a burl out of this beautiful wood. Because, let's face it, I ain't got a burl. And what I'm going to do is use CA glue as kind of, instead of like putting a epoxy on, I'm just going to use CA glue and that'll seal it up. So I'm going to cover the whole thing in CA glue. And then when I turn it, hopefully, everything will stay intact, which is a beautiful thing. And the epoxy will adhere to that, so that'll be good. 
you have it. Homemade burl out of, I believe, I believe this is Red Heart. I mean, that would be my best guess would be Red Heart because it's, it's pretty kick-ass looking wood, but I'm thinking it's Red Heart. And um, as I say, I'm not really familiar with the indigenous trees in Indonesia and all the Asian countries where um, the product that we sell at my place of employment comes from. So anyways, I'm going to spray it with some uh, activator. And uh, that's it. Next step, put it in a mold. Okay, we're going to do our some pour today. We have our super clear epoxy resin systems. So that's what we're going to be pouring with. It is the liquid glass version of their deep port system. And I'm going to be using this graduated thing here with all the two to one stuff on it. Um, we're going to be pouring two to one. I'll mix it up with uh, my drill and we'll get to pouring. All right, I got to mix this for five minutes. I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm just going to mix it and get on with it. Blow all the dust I got inside my mold out. But what I have done is I created a mold. I had got some PVC kind of thing here. Um, a sheet of it and I cut it, glued it, screwed it together. And then I uh, sealed the corners with some silicone and silicone in the pieces of wood. So what I'm gonna do now is just pour it in and then we'll heat it up, get the bubbles out. That'll be it. All right, here we go. Not too bad of a guess. I'm gonna give that a second to set, let it all seep down to the areas where I either don't want it or it shouldn't be, but you know, it's gonna it's liquid, so it's going to go where it wants to go, and then I will hit it with a heat gun. Get all them bubbles popped. Get her nice and clear. All right, we got we unmolded uh, this pour as well. Um, so again, I'm gonna I got my waste block here. I'm gonna take some five minute epoxy and epoxy it to the bottom, and then I'll put it up in between centers and uh, get to turning.
all they can say is this wood is wow. Okay, we're gonna wet sand now. Get the rest of these scratches out completely. All right, we're going to go to the 1500 now. Two grand. Two thousand grit sand. All right, so since I put so much water on it, I'm going to let this kind of relax for a few minutes and let it all dry out before I put on my finish. I'm going to crank up the old lathe here, put some speed on it, and I've got some Yorkshire grit, uh, microfine abrasive paste. We're going to use that. Um, to finish it out and put our finish on it. So we'll give it like 15, 20 minutes to dry and I'll be back. All right, we're going to put our Yorkshire grit paste on, adding the stuff up. Rubbing her in. I've got the, got her cranked up to 11 or 1020. So we'll put some heat on it and work it out. clean rag and we'll take the rest of the excess off.
That is just gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna park this off now, very carefully. All right, freshly sharpened parting tool. Crazy, it don't take long to dull. Close enough. Last thing I need is for this to go flying across the basement. All right. Well, this project has come to a conclusion and I'm pretty happy with it. Very interesting. It's got a lot of really cool colors. This was some excellent wood. As I say, I got a little bit more. Probably do another project with it later. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this project, subscribe, click like, and uh, we'll see you at the next one.